everyone welcome back to my channel so I've actually just finished editing the plan with me that you guys know about to see and I'm halfway through doing my voiceover but I wanted to kind of jump on here because I've changed my planner I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys so some of you may know I wanted to get back into filming weekly plan with me's as I kind of started dying them out in November ish time I think because of my full-time job I really want to get back into them because I miss doing them, I miss talking to everyone and I kind of miss feeling within the community because right now I just feel like an outsider. So that was always the plan to kind of come back in January with my weekly plan with me's again um, but then I was really really poorly. At the beginning of January I had the flu which lasted a couple of weeks really and then as I was then starting to get better my daughter came down with it and then a few days later my son came down with it and then as everyone's starting to get a little bit better my other son came down with it. So it's literally been four weeks of flu virus hell in my house so that's why I didn't manage to upload any in January and I was like really stressing about it I had anxiety about it and I was like do you know what don't worry we'll just come back in February and start the week plan with me then I did manage to get up a February plan with me in my bullet journal video which I was super proud that I managed to film edit voiceover and upload so that was something. And with the plan with me that you guys are now about to see, that was supposed to go up on Tuesday, but because my son still isn't 100%, I just hadn't got round to editing and doing the voiceover without the coughing and spluttering and calling mum every two minutes. So, um, you know, it'd just be like that sometimes. So this is almost going to be like a rewind plan with me, even though I didn't plan it in rewind. Hmm. Anyway... This is a very long intro. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that as it was a new year, a new start, and I had to get a new planner anyway, I thought I would change and order something else. I went ahead and ordered a Erin Condren Life Planner, this one right here, um, which I was really super excited about after I ordered it. I was really excited for a couple of days. That then turned into a panic, like, oh my God, what have I done? I love the Happy Planner. I don't know if I want an Erin Condren, um, but then fast forward to the end of December, my planner arrived and I was actually out and they left it on the doorstep as, you know, people do. And as I was walking up to my door, I could see whatever the package was that was sitting there was in one of those kind of clear bags and immediate panic starts setting in because you know those bags are never good. In fact, I still have the bag here somewhere. It's one of these bags in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about and it's the our sincere apologies because whatever's inside this bag something bad has happened to it. So inside the bag of death was my new planner and it was absolutely soaking wet. There was even water in the bag because this was like literally dripping you could hold it and it was very wet. I don't know if you could be able to see it on camera but all of the sides of my planner where it's like nice and rose gold has worn off. It's warped. It's gone watermarked everywhere and yeah, it was, it's not a fun time. <laughs> so I actually had this sitting on radiators. I had it wrapped in towels. I kind of done whatever I could to try and dry it out. I don't know if it's going to pick it up because of my really bright lights, but it's kind of watermarked everywhere. It's really warped. The, um, what's this called? The rose gold foiling is coming off and this poor planner, it's, it's it's been through it this honestly took I want to say like two weeks ish of constantly being on the radiator to get to the point where I could turn the pages without it ripping it was that soaked through that the pages were like soggy and they still feel rough once it had eventually got to the point where I could touch it without ripping it and it was kind of dry I um, wanted to just kind of half try it out because I've never used an Erin Condren. Obviously the boxes and stuff are of similar size and the layout is a little bit different but they're kind of the same. The stickers are a little bit smaller than the boxes in my uh, Happy Planner. I don't know if it's just because this is a life planner but you can see that the boxes are a little bit wider than my stickers. Not that that really bothers me, it's just different. So I'm a little bit nervous planning in a new planner because I, I don't know, I feel like I haven't planned for so long as well, so it's probably been since November, really, in my happy planner, since I actually planned, planned. So I went through all December, all January without planning, and I feel like I've lost my touch. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, and I don't know if my style is going to look right in this planner. 
but yeah it might take me a couple of weeks just to get back into the swing of things but I hope you guys enjoy this plan with me anyway it's so nice to be back I hope you guys um, are excited to see new videos coming up on my channel I do want to mix it up and add a couple of other little videos here and there just for funsies but I'm going to stop talking now and we're going to get on into the plan with me Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me, my first plan with me of the year. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This kit is from the GP Studio. It's an older kit. I've been hanging on to it because I wanted to use it obviously in February when Valentine's Day is and Valentine's kits are just so pretty and I'm always drawn to them. So I'm probably going to be doing more Valentine's-y themed kits throughout the whole month. <laughs> I'm also going to be using so many poppets as always but i've just already wrote wrote written 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 that's the word written the dates onto the date covers which i'm just putting up at the top and i'm in a completely new planner so i can't fold my planner in half because it doesn't have a coil or rings it's like a a solid one i don't know if there's a word for that um, but we're going in day by day as i do normally and i've just put a piece of washi down with a little headache poppet on top as my boys are still poorly with the flu actually getting a lot better now but they are still kind of lingering the flu is lingering in this house it's been a long time I then put down a um, small checklist and I was really struggling with pens so the paper it's more like a final sticker paper I suppose you would call it super nice to the touch and you can peel stickers up and down really easily like I'm, I'm in love with the paper I just don't have the pens for this paper so um, I'm kind of trying a couple of different pens but I'm being honest nothing worked and I ended up smudging them because the ink wasn't drying so I think one of the really fine liner permanent markers would work amazing on these and you'd have no issues at all but I didn't have one of those so we're doing the best that we can so I put down on a label with one of my happy mail poppets that I needed to go to the post office which I didn't actually manage to do I didn't leave the house at all on Monday so I still have to do that I'm so behind honestly then underneath there um, I put down that my washing machine has broken I swear I go through either a washing machine or a dryer every single year it's one or the other always breaks and I'm always left with a mountain of washing to try and catch up on but I wanted to start um, the episode you because I've heard lots of good things about it I did want to start it when it first came out but I just never got around to it but I am doing that this week I've already watched the first one and I'm intrigued I'm looking forward to seeing more and then for Tuesday I started with the full box up at the top these stickers are a little bit thinner than what my boxes are the GP studio stickers are a bit smaller but these are a lot thinner than my boxes but we're just going to go with it it just takes a little practice trying to get the stickers in the right place kind of centered I think I done okay it took me a while um, but I also wanted to edit this plan with me I also have a delivery due some new sticker paper so I use one of my podcast poppets and a label as I would like to find some new podcasts to listen to. I go through kind of phases. So sometimes I'm really into listening to, I don't know, spiritual ones, if you like. And then I'm really into listening to true crime and kind of cold case stories. I have phases and I'm, I'm ready for my next phase. Who knows what that will be, but I'm going to be looking for some new podcasts to listen to. If any of you have any favorites, definitely let me know in the comments because I'm ready for something else. I marked down about parents evening, which we ended up not going to because my boys were still poorly on the Tuesday. And then I had one left at home on the Wednesday. So I didn't even get to do my voiceover or edit the plan with me properly and today's now Thursday and I am going to make sure that this plan with me goes up on my channel today <laughs> it's been a few days but I'm here we're, we're doing it so I just quickly stopped what I was doing so I could do like a little intro which obviously you guys have just seen um yeah so now we're jumping back into the plan with me well for you it's seamless but for me I'm jumping back and now I don't know what I'm doing uh Wednesday um, we were supposed to be having a girly day out, me and my daughter. We were going to have like a nice shopping day. We can take some Instagram photos for her. And yeah, but that obviously didn't end up happening because I still had a poorly boy at home. But moving on to Thursday, I'm just going to be putting the dates along the top. And then for Thursday, I really wanted to sit down and do some designing because it's it's been a while since I kind of sat for a long period of time to design. I've 
been doing little bits in between looking after my children but I just wanted to actually sit down and design although that's not happening because what I've done this morning is edit instead of design but I'm going to get back and do some designing straight after this so I put down an appointment label and another happy mail pop it as I've got another delivery due and it's actually just for some printer ink which I'm currently waiting for underneath there I put down one of my washi strips as it's like a little person doodling which is what I'm going to be doing straight after this and I also want to have a really nice coffee break so I put down one of the coffee stickers that come with the kit I put down a little worried poppet with a super cute face because I'm actually going to be coming up with a study plan for my children I've got one child has got her mock exams next week and then the other one is getting ready for kind of GCSEs later in the year so I just want to get a study plan in motion for Friday I put down one of the full boxes and I put a little poppet from the home life sheet with the shopping basket as I will need to do a little Tesco dash. I do my weekly shop and it gets delivered. I'm very bad, I don't actually go shopping, I get it delivered. Um, but we seem to run out of food before you know the weekend because my children just eat like horses. So I know I'm going to have to go to the supermarket tomorrow to restock until I do my next like weekly shop and then underneath there I used um, another two puppets from the home life sheet one was just to mark down for me to do some housework and then the other one is I really need to go through and sort through all of my paperwork for my shop and just organize it a little bit more and then underneath there I didn't really put anything else just a full box and then for the weekend um, I put a little puppet with the headache or from the headache sheet as we need to go and buy some new school shoes and it is an instant headache when you go shoe shopping with three children so that's why I put that down and then when we come home we wanted to do some baking we were going to try and make some macarons macaroons macarons however you say it we're going to try to make some of those and then I want my children to get some of their homework done while we're waiting for those to cook and then I need to do laundry but like I said my washing machine has broken so I'm actually going to be taking my washing to my mum's house bless her mums always come to the rescue no matter what the problem is you can rely on a mum <laughs> and then I will need to update my bullet journal so for Sunday I use one of my pop it kind of pre-filled checklists which is just getting everything ready for school basically and then um, I would need my children to study just a little bit I'm not asking much just a little bit so I put down one of the books from the reading sheet and then marked off a time with a label that I flipped up onto its side and then to kind of get them out a little bit get some fresh air after studying and replenish them I thought we'll go for a nice family walk and then when we come back I wanted to try and film next week's plan with me so here I'm just using some washi it's really wide washi I did buy this on Etsy if I remember I'll try and add the link down in the description box super pretty and um, I just put that at the bottom but I thought the blues and pinks went well with the kit and then moving on to the sidebar I used a full box up at the top that says embrace the imperfections I then took the page flag and just put that right at the top because I've seen other people do that in Erin Condren and that made me feel like an Erin Condrener is that a word I then moved on and put my two habit trackers down I put a piece of washi down and there wasn't a next week header there was only a this week header but I'll know what that means so I'm using that as a next week header and I just layered two of the short checklists together to make one longer one and then right at the bottom I'm finishing it up with my other full box I think that was my last full box and another piece of washi this kit did come with an insane amount of um deco stickers which are my favorite part so I've sped this up just because I'm, I'm about to go a little crazy with the deco I used everything <laughs> just everything so like I was saying in my intro it will take me a little while to get used to planning in the Erin Condren it's kind of like when you buy a new pair of fancy shoes you have to wear them in so it will take me a little while to get used to how it looks and feels and if I really don't like it I know that I can go back and buy a happy planner but this is the end of this plan with me here's everything that I have got left I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I will speak to you all next time bye guys